hey what's going on guys so welcome back to the channel and a happy new year to every one of you so yeah we all know that 2020 has been quite a mess for every one of us and well hopefully this new year would be a better place a better home for every one of us and all the issues and all the troubles that we have been facing will get over soon and we're going to be having a good healthy environment once again now this video is kind of different from my regular videos wherein I teach some programming concepts or build new projects but in this video what I have done is I have hunted down 10 best projects for beginners slash intermediate programmers which would basically help them to build their foundation. Now most of the time what happens is that when you are a beginner you have a lot of issues finding projects to work on. So you don't need to worry because this video has this gradual increment in the toughness of the programs or the projects so what you can basically do is you can start from the bottom and then slowly gradually learning and then you can go up top and then well improve your foundation So starting at number 10, we have a weight converter. Now a weight converter is just a simple program which basically takes in the weight and then the unit. Now here on the right, you can see I have added different units and then in this input box, you can add the weight. And now whenever you enter the weight, it basically will convert that weight and that unit to different unit like I have selected the pounds. You can pick something else and then it changes to something else so now if I have it in grams you can see I have kilograms pounds and ounces here and now you can go ahead and change to different unit and then you're gonna have a different result so this is um, number 10 a weight converter coming at number nine we have a digital clock now we all know what is a digital clock which basically is um, program which would show you your time and so I have already uploaded a video on the channel to build this so you can check that out link will be in the description and also at the top of the screen now when you click you can see the day okay you can swap between the day and the time and I have also added this greeting functionality which is basically when it's evening it's gonna say good evening morning as good morning and night as good morning as good night well, so it is a pretty fun project. You would learn a lot from this. I uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And so this is your number nine, which is a digital clock. At number eight, we have analog clock. Just like the previous project, which was a digital clock. So most of the part are same, except for the fact that you're gonna be having, in this case, you're gonna be having few UI elements, which you would need to update every second, like the hands of the clock. So you're gonna be having a function, which basically would be called every second, which would make the UI update. And then you're gonna be adjusting your hands of the clock according to the time that you have so that is pretty much what you're gonna be doing so I have already um, created this anime clock if you are interested to in learning that um, links are in the description and again on the top right corner so you can check that out hopefully you will learn something new and so yeah this is your number eight project which is an analog clock At number seven, we have a music player. Now, this is the music player that I have created. When you click, well, uh, the sounds roll, you have the music, and then you can change the location to where you wanna play or to where you wanna listen. And then you can bring it back to restart, and then, well, you can change the songs if you want. So, so this is a custom music player which comes at number seven. At number six we have a calculator now if you build this calculator or like if you build any calculator using GUI you would learn a lot you would be learning how to use multiple functions at once and then how to handle errors you would learn a lot if you build a calculator now if you just go and directly jump into into like building a calculator you're gonna be having a lot of problems so what you can basically do is start off 
simply like adding two numbers you can have different functions to add subtract divide and multiply you can have different functions you can play around with those and then slowly and steadily you can build your own calculator so this is at number six we have a calculator at number five we have a news aggregator now a news aggregator is kind of similar to a web crawler so this would be a program which would basically go to any news site and then get all the informations so the way you get all the necessary informations is by getting the inner html of all the heading tags like as you can see in this website so if i get all the heading tags all the inner html of the head tags you could basically store those to a txt file and then when you read those you basically get what's going around around the world and you get all the information now you can go ahead and add a few more functionality a few advanced stuff like you can use those infos in your website but that'd be kind of like too advanced now coming in number four we have a weather app now to build this you can use various apis which are available so you can use different apis to create this or what you can do is you can use what we have done in our previous um, project which is create a web crawler which would basically go to any website and then get the weather infos and then you can use that in your own website or your own project and then upload the data and then you're going to be having your own kind of a weather app okay so this is your number four project which is a weather app or weather site at number three we have a simple game called as tic-tac-toe now every one of us have played this game this is a pretty fun game and since childhood many of us uh, really enjoyed playing this game so like this project is is pretty fun and you're gonna be learning a lot from this project despite looking not too great this project has a lot to offer now when you start building this the first hurdle that you're gonna be facing is like like the way you decide a winner now as we know that whenever you have this cross or this circle icon in a straight line you decide the winner so like you're gonna be having a array or a list depending on the programming language you're using and then you're gonna be storing there all the possible ways you have this um, straight line could be cross could be the circle and so then you're gonna be moving forward and having all the different stuff you're gonna be adding in your game. so this is number three uh, a simple game tic-tac-toe and number two we have a chat application or a chat website now to create this you're going to be needing a lot of stuff so you're going to be using like threading you're going to be using sockets so there's a lot that goes into creating a chat application so i don't recommend this to a total new programmer who have just landed into the world of programming so if you are just a total beginner i don't recommend this but if you have a good in-depth knowledge like if you are kind of an intermediate guy so this is a pretty good project you'll be learning a lot from this project and so yeah hopefully you enjoy building this so this is your second project which is a chat application all right so at number one we have a complete website now the website you create could be a landing page could be a business site could be a portfolio website or could be an e-commerce so by far e-commerce could be a bit tricky because there's a lot to do in an e-commerce site so whatever may be the case so if you build a complete website front end and the back end so you're going to be learning a lot not only you will learn how to design the template of the website using html css and javascript or even if you use any frameworks like bootstrap you would learn how to deal with the database you learn server side scripting and all those stuff so this is your the first ranked project which is a complete website